Hi friends, it's Miss T again. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Good morning, good morning, my sweet little friends. Good morning, good morning, my kind little friends. Have you guys been working on cooperation and being kind to one another and working together with your friends so you can have the best time ever? I hope so. All right, so we're gonna review everything that we learned in our previous video and we're going to add just a little bit more into it today and read some different books. Are you ready to get started? So I'll still sing some songs today. And if you remember how they go from last time, you're more than welcome to join in the first time. And then I'll sing it again so that people that didn't hear it the first time can sing it with us. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the color. What color is it? That's right. It's yellow. We have a yellow sun. Is yellow your favorite color? I like yellow. It's bright and cheerful and it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside because it's such a bright color. All right, so if you remember, we sang a song about yellow, so we're gonna sing it again today. Are you ready to sing with me? Okay, I'm gonna go slow the first time and then the second time you can join in. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to sing with me? Great. Let's begin. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Yay! Okay, so we just actually spelled the word yellow. And we're singing, we're spelling the song. Y-E-L-L-O-W. So we're gonna write that word. So if you have paper, you can write it with me. You can try, it's a little hard, especially if you're just beginning, but some of you may be experts at writing and you just wanna practice writing. Um, if you don't have paper, you can write it in the air with me, okay? So we're gonna start with our Y. We're gonna start in the middle and come down and then start in the middle again and make our line come down below the line. That's a Y. Then we're gonna make our E. We're gonna start in the middle here between the dotted line and the, the solid line at the bottom. And we're gonna go over and around and it hits that bottom line. And we're trying to be precise. So our goal is to learn to stay um, in between the lines. That's our boundary point of where we want to write. If you're writing in the air, you can just write a Y and an E. And the next letter is going to be L, L. Then we have another L. We start at the very top and go down to the bottom line. Then we have O. So we're gonna start at our dotted line and go around. And last we have W. We're gonna start at the dotted line and go down and then back up and then down and then back up. So we have the word yellow. Now, can anybody tell me why I didn't capitalize our Y? Why didn't I capitalize that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't capitalize this because um, it is not someone's name. If I mean, you might have a friend named Yellow, and um, if you do, then their name would be capitalized. But this is just naming a color. It's not the actual name of someone or a place or a location. Okay. All right, so um, let's move on to our letter. Our letter um, this time is T. Okay, let's practice saying T. My tongue goes to the roof of my mouth and behind my front teeth, and I say T. And my tongue stays in my mouth behind my teeth. T, okay? And T makes the t, t, t sound. T, 
Does anybody remember our song? Yeah? All right, well, let's sing our song. Ready? T is for turtle. T, t, t. T is for train. T, t, t. T is for tiger. T, t, t. T is for truck. T, t, t. Yeah, good job, okay? So, um, T makes the t, t, t sound. All right, so let's practice writing T. So I'm gonna start at my line at the top and I'm gonna make a straight line, a line that goes vertical up and down. Then I'm gonna go to the, I mean, and it hits all the way at the bottom line. Then I'm gonna go back to that top line and I'm gonna make a horizontal line that goes across the very top. Now that's a capital T. That could be for a name like Terry or Thomas or can you think of a name? Yeah, Tiana, the Princess Tiana. Um, or it could be for a location like um, the state of Texas. Texas would be a capital T. Maybe you're from Texas, yeah. Um, and then that's when we would capitalize it. So that's the big T. Now let's talk about the little T, all right? So to make the little T, and the little T makes the same sound. To make the little t, we're going to start um, at the top again and make a vertical line up and down. Then we're going to go to our dotted line in the middle and go across and make a horizontal line. And that is a lowercase t. So that could be like for our words that we sang, train, tiger, um, truck, things like that. Okay? All right. So now we are going to, we'll sing our song one more time, and then we're going to read a book about the letter T. All right, so let's sing our song one more time. T is for tiger, t, t, t. T is for train, t, t, t. T is for turtle, t, t, t. T is for truck, t, t, t. All right, good job, guys. All right, let's read our book about T. My T book. And look, he has a little T on his outfit, and he has a little teepee. Okay, it says, little T had a box. It was a big box. He said, I will fill my box. I will find toys. Do you have a box that has a lot of toys in it? Yes, we do too. Little T found a toy, t toy, t train, train. Notice my tongue stays in my mouth when I'm saying T. He put the train into his box. Little T found a toy tractor tractor and there's the tractor guess where he put the toy tractor where do you think he put it in the box so now he's got a train and a tractor then little t found a truck truck he drove the truck up 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 a tall mountain he drove to the top top he drove um, to the top the very tip top he found two turtles he found two one two turtle turtle in you go turtles he said then he found a toad toad in you go, Toad, he said. Wow, his box is getting really full. He's found lots of cool things. Now the box was so full that he tripped. Have you ever tripped before? Oh, it's sometimes it's embarrassing, but it's best just to laugh and get up and say, oopsie. <laughs> um, tripped. Tripped. 
down, down he went. He tumbled into a turkey. T tumble, tumble, turkey, turkey. So he's tumbling and he fell right into a turkey. Have you ever fell into a turkey before? No, I haven't done that before. It might scare me. But one time we were driving and there was a turkey in the middle of the road. And we had to wait for that turkey to cross the road. And he was big. I've heard of a chicken crossing the road, but I've never heard of a turkey crossing the road until that day. I have something I'll never forget, that big old turkey. Turkey feathers flew. So little T made a turkey feather hat. He and the turkey danced. <laughs> How fun. How cute. Now they both look like turkeys, don't they? Little T found a tom-tom. Tom-tom. He tapped the tom-tom. Tom-tom-tom. Then he found a tomahawk. So a tom-tom is like a drum and tapped, t apt, means he like beat it like a drum. And um, then it said he found a tomahawk. A tomahawk is like an ax, tomahawk. Little T and the turkey danced some more. Then he put all his things into his box. Wouldn't that be so fun to dance with a turkey? We could do a turkey dance. Then little T heard a terrific noise. Terrific. He ran into a teepee, a teepee, teepee. So a teepee is like a tent. When he looked out, he saw a, a tiger. Ooh, tiger. He saw lots of teeth. Teeth, look, teeth in the tiger's mouth. Whew, I think I would be running. I have a loose tooth, said the tiger. Please pull out my tooth. Hmm. Tooth, have you ever had a loose tooth? Yeah, that's so fun when the tooth fairy comes to visit. So little T pulled out the tooth. That was nice. But in real life, are tigers our friend? No. They're not our friends. Little T and the tiger played with the truck and the toys in the box. There's the truck, the tom-tom, -tom, the toad, the tiger, the train track, the tomahawk, the train, the turtle, the turkey, and the tractor. They had a terrific time. That looks like so much fun. So here are some more, tea, more words with little T. We have a telephone, a tricycle, a tulip, a toe. Do you have a toe? I have a toe too. I have 10, I have 10 toes. T tree, t tray, tomato, Thai, taco. Do you love tacos? Me too. Tire, table, toothbrush, television, top, and teapot. Do you like to have tea parties? Yes, that's so fun. The end. So that's our tea book, okay? All right, so the next thing we're going to go over is our numbers. So we have the number one. And remember, we only have one out of our 10 frame filled in because there's only one. We're talking about the number one. So this is um, one in a 10 frame. This is the what a one looks like, the number one. And this is its name, one. Right? So let's practice writing one. So we're going to um, make an O starting at the dotted line and going around. Then we're going to make an N. We're going to start at the dotted line and go down. And then make a hump and go around. And then we're going to make an E. Go over and around. So that is the name one. Okay, so we've been talking about equations and stretching our brain, so let's keep stretching our brain and let's talk about um, a story that goes with an equation. And if you like to tell stories, then equations are for you because an equation has no purpose unless a story, something real life is being applied to it, okay? 
So yesterday I went into my garden and I picked one tomato yesterday. So I'm gonna put one and I'm gonna put a little label up here that says yesterday, yesterday. That was yesterday's value. And then, so and then means we're gonna to put together another day. So we're gonna put plus, that means we're putting it together. Today I picked no tomatoes. No tomatoes. What value would no tomatoes have? That's right, it has no value, it's zero, okay? So we're gonna put plus zero. How many tomatoes did I have in all? So between yesterday, oh, and I forgot to put my label. So one was yesterday and zero was today. And then we're gonna put equals, how many did I get in all? One for today, yesterday, and zero for today is I have one tomato. One tomato, and that's an equation. Now let's reverse that. Let's say on Monday, I did not pick any tomatoes. No tomatoes. So what would that value be? That's right, zero. And then above zero, I'm gonna put Monday. On Monday, I picked zero tomatoes. And then, so I put my plus sign, and then on Tuesday, I picked one tomato. So I'm gonna put one. And I'm gonna put a label of Tuesday up here, just to help me see our story. And we're gonna put equals, so zero plus one equals one, yeah, so between the two days, I had one tomato. So that's writing an equation. Look at you, you're so young and you can figure out an equation. Give yourself an air high five, boom. <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay, so let's move on. So last time we learned that the letter A makes the ah, ah, ah sound. And then we've been learning about T, and T makes the T sound. So we're gonna practice reading again, because you guys are so smart. Okay, ready? So we see the letter A and the letter T, and we know what that says, don't we? Because we've been practicing. We're gonna identify our letters, which we just did. We're gonna identify our sounds, and then we're gonna put it together. Are you ready? So we have Identify our letters as A and T. Identify our sounds, A and T. We're gonna put it together. Are you ready? At. 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 Like at the store or at the beach. Look at you guys reading. I am so proud. Oh, you better just stop and kiss your brain. Good job. All right. So. Let's write the letter A, we're gonna make a circle, and then we're gonna make a line down, and then we're gonna make the letter T, we're gonna start at the top and go all the way down to the bottom, making a vertical line, then we're gonna make a horizontal line going across. So, we know how to read the word at, yay! Okay, who can tell me what our shape was? What shape is that? Yeah, it's a rectangle. Rectangle. Rectangle is a big word, right? So let's review what we know about a rectangle. A rectangle has two sets of parallel lines. That means two lines are equal distance um, between each other. So these two lines are equal distance and these two lines are equal distance apart. A rectangle has four sides. Let's prove it. One, two, three, four. It's very important to be precise in math and to prove your answer. You should be able to show someone what, how you got your answer. Um, it has four corners, or if we're being fancy mathematicians, we can call it vertices. Okay, so let's count and prove it. One vertice, two vertice, three vertice, four vertice. Okay, so um, it has four sides and four vertices, 
and two of the sides of a rectangle are longer um, and two of them are shorter. So that's the difference between a square. The square, all the sides are the same. A rectangle has two longer sides and two shorter sides. All right, let's sing our song about a rectangle. Ready? I'll sing it first, then you can sing it with me. Or if you remember, you can sing with me. Two long sides, two short sides, and four corners, and four corners. This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Can you find a rectangle? Okay, you ready to sing with me? Two long sides, two short sides, and four corners, and four corners. This is a rectangle, this is a rectangle. Can you find a rectangle? Okay, so do you see any rectangles around your room? Yeah, so maybe some of you might have a piece of furniture that um, your TV is sitting on, sometimes that's the shape of a rectangle, is it? Or maybe you have a bookshelf in your living room. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go a little bit farther with rectangles today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to build a rectangle and I'm gonna use some Unifix cubes. Now, um, we'll briefly go over this today and then I'll make another lesson with a little bit more practice, okay? All right, so I have some orange Unifix cubes, and I'm going to start by making my rectangle. I'm going to have two at the top, and I'm going to keep going with my rectangle. I'm going to keep building a rectangle. Here. You know what? My sticky stuff on this one fell off. So let me grab some more. Okay, and let's put this one right here. Okay, when we're looking at rectangles or shapes, we want to know how many goes around the outside. Because, for example, if this was a flower bed and we were going to build our flower bed out of blocks um, like you get at Lowe's or bricks we would need to know how many bricks we need to go around the outside of the rectangle right and then we'd put flowers on the inside so the way we do that and there's a special word for that so we want to know we want to know how many goes around the outside and the special word for that is called perimeter we want to know the perimeter. Can you say that big word? Perimeter. Okay, so the perimeter is how many? So let's count. We're gonna start here. This is one, 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 and this is one, and this is one. Okay, so I put little ones, but let's count and make that a big number. So on this side, I have one, two, three. So we're going to change that to a three. And down here, I have one and one, and one plus one is two. We can count one, two. And over here, I had one, one, one. So one plus one plus one is three. One, two, three. And then up here, we had one and one. One plus one is two. We can count one, two. Okay, so now we have how many blocks are around. So we're going to put all that together. We're going to say three and two and three and two. We're going to count three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's do it again. We have, oops, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our perimeter, I'm going to put a P for perimeter, is ten. Who knew you could do such fancy math? Yeah, now you can go around outside and look at some of your flower gardens, or you could go to the park and look at some and count how many blocks go around and figure out the perimeter. 
but only if it's like a straight line, right? Or, or, or um, it can't be a curved border. That's a little bit different. It's a little bit of different math. But as long as it has straight lines, you can figure out the perimeter, okay? All right, then there's another thing we try to figure out with rectangles or shapes. We wanna know how much room we have inside, right? We wanna know how many plants we can fit. So the way we do that is we count how many um, is inside. So here we said we had three, three blocks, one, two, three, and we have two blocks, one, two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count how many blocks we have all together inside of the space, inside. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six um, blocks. So maybe if we were doing a, if we were creating a flower garden, we could put, we could plant a flower here, 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 right? And we could have six flowers. So our area is six and our perimeter is 10. All right, so that was really hard math. So I want you to kiss yourself on the brain, ready? And tell yourself, good job. Yeah, that was hard. All right, so we'll do another lesson that goes a little bit more into that. If you want to practice and, you know, just take things a little bit further. Um, but if not, that's fine too. Okay, so this, so this is a rectangle. Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about is um, cooperation. And cooperation is when you work together nicely. And this little girl, um, this little boy is saying, can I help you with the puzzle? And the little girl is saying, yes, I would love for your help. And... Um, so we're going to read the book, Try a Little Kindness by Henry Cole. I smile to greet the morning, a hug to greet each day, a thank you and a yes please are things that you should say. Our animal friends will show you exactly how it's done. Make it a daily habit. Kindness can be fun. Wake up with a smile, rise and shine, breakfast time. Be the last in line. Sometimes that's so hard for you guys. Um, everybody wants to be first, but the kind thing to do is to let other people go before you. Um, and, you know, that's cooperating with others. Fighting in, in line is not being cooperative, you know, trying to be first. And honestly, who cares? We're all going to get there at the same time. <sighs> Invite someone over to play with you. Please don't call chicken over. Red Rover, Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> so the chicken doesn't want to be involved. Um, but it's fun to invite someone to play with you because that's being cooperative and being kind and nice and getting along with other people. Um, they're playing Go Fish and the piggy says, what's for dessert? And um, these little mice look like they're gonna play ball. Share your toy. Ooh, sometimes that's so hard. But sharing your toy means that you're cooperating with others and you're being kind and you're making a friend. It's always good to have a friend. I'd rather have a friend than a toy. Friends are more important than toys. You'll feel so special inside. Try some kindness every day. A smile, a joke, or something else. Come on, don't you want to play? Tell someone they are special. You are special. It's what's inside that counts. Be a great ally. All this work is making me hungry. Well, let's hope he doesn't eat the piggies, right? But he's helping the pigs. He's cooperating with the piggies and he's building, helping build the brick house. That's awesome. That's the way you should, you should be. Always helpful and um, help other people reach their goals. Write a poem for someone. <laughs> That's sweet. The cat is writing a poem to the dog. Praise someone's work. Remarkable. Catchy. Shapely. Sometimes that's really hard for us too. And we get kind of jealous because maybe somebody can draw a little better than us or maybe somebody's able to write their letters a little bit better or maybe somebody can count better than we can. 
but it's important to say, wow, you're doing a great job. I'm so glad that you you can count so well, instead of being like, oh, I don't like that person because they can count higher than I can. You can use that as, as a goal for yourself. You can use that as motivation to um, write better or count higher, or to work harder to do it. But you don't need to be angry or rude to that person. You need to be kind and uplift that person because just because that person's good at this thing, mean like they're not good at everything. There's something that they're not good at. And um, there's something that you're better at than them. And that's just how life works. Everybody's good at something, but not everybody's good at everything. So we see, hold the door for a friend. And the mouse is holding the door for the friend. The dog is... I mean, the dog, the cow is holding the, um, holding the door for the piggy and the cat is letting the bird out. Give someone your seat. So if you see an older person standing or someone that's um, disabled, you should always let them sit down. Pick up your trash. That's always great. Visit someone who is lonely. Want some company? That's being a good friend. I know you think we did it, but our job is not quite done. We need to keep on going. Being kind is so much fun. After you, help someone without being asked. May I help you with those? Need help with that? You need to unwind. So it's help, it's helpful to get help people out of their problems or help them carry things. Um, and that's being cooperative with others, um, not just be, sitting and watching them, but jumping in and helping. Read to your friends write thank you notes. Don't I look ducky? <laughs> silly, silly duck. Do something unexpected. Now that's a good fit. The turtle let the um, rabbit try on his tortoise shell. And the, chip, uh, the squirrel is sweeping up the leaves. Take a selfie with friends. When evening eggs come and it's time to go to bed, you brush your teeth and wash your feet and make sure your fish is fed. Think of, a new, um, think of new good deeds to do and some nice things to say. Then you'll know why kindness counts and look forward to each day. That's a great thing to do while you're trying to go to sleep. Think about things you can do for others that will help them and encourage them. Well, thanks for joining me today. Um, we'll see each other again soon. Toodaloo.